All right, the moment you've been waiting for. All right, maybe the moment I've been waiting for. We're at Colby's Southern Kiss Chicken in Orlando. They just opened recently. So we're gonna try that out, get some fried chicken, probably Nashville hot, who knows. Action Adam, your home pro coming at you here today. Let's do this. All right, guys, so we're back here. Colby's Southern Piss Chicken here. We're ready to jump into this. I got my order. I got the Nashville hot chicken sandwich combo with the crinkle fries and a Coke. So we're going to jump into this. Let's take a look at it right now. But before we do that, don't forget to thank our sponsor for today. It's none other than Action Adam, your home pro. If you got real estate services that you need, buying, selling, whatever you need, reach out anytime. All the information is here. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we're ready to go. So right here, I've got the sandwich. I can't wait to open this thing up and see what it looks like. I'm starving. Uh, crinkle fries right here. I got my ketchup packs they brought me out. And of course, I have got a Coke. I got a Coke today, but you gotta have a Coke with chicken sandwich. So beautiful day here in Orlando, but let's open this thing up and see what it looks like. All right, here it is. Okay, this is the bun. Got some tomatoes. I'm not a big tomato guy. Didn't see that on the menu. Maybe it was there and I wouldn't. I'll take those off. But chicken sandwich looks pretty hefty. It's pretty big. Nashville hot. Got the pepper jack cheese. Um, pickles. I think they're like jalapeno pickles and they got like a, an aioli sauce on this. So um, yeah. So let's go ahead and, and try this thing out. Okay. So here's the fries. The crinkly cut. Do some cat. I got a ketchup there. I'm gonna dip them in. Yeah. Fries are cooked fine. Fluffy, fluffy on the inside, crispy. Seasoned fairly well on the outside. Yep. Yeah. And the ketchup's called a house recipe, so I don't know. It's not like your typical Heinz. I don't know if it's a different, if it's just labeled as something else and maybe it's Heinz, I don't know. But maybe it is an actual different, I don't know the brand, House Recipes brand, so maybe, who knows, but anyway, pretty good. And voila, just like that we've changed. Okay, so yeah, I'm here on a different day. So what happened was my original Nashville sandwich footage was lost. I don't know what happened. I Maybe I didn't record it, I thought I did, or just got lost in space, but anyway, I'm back to try the Nashville hot on another day here. And my original review of the sandwich was good. I thought it was very good. Uh, it was crispy. The only recommendation I really had on it was it wasn't sauced enough with the Nashville sauce. Now, if you're reading online, if you read the reviews, I try not to read the reviews so I get bias that way but right now i think it's like a 2.9 on google ratings so not the highest of ratings but again they just recently opened it takes time sometimes so um but a lot of the different comments were some said the sandwiches were mushy not not very good but i did not have that problem the first time around so i'm excited to see if it's consistent let's try so here it is it's the uh, nashville hot and again i'm eating on the road today don't have time to stop in i was out uh, looking at some homes, but we're gonna we're gonna jump into a sandwich here while we're doing because I felt like I could I was so mad I didn't get a chance to to get my sandwich on video here. So, but here it is. You got that aioli sauce. Uh, there's pickles on here. The pepper jack cheese. This looks good again. So I'm ready. Let's just cheers. Let's do it. Wow, it's messy. I think it's a little more sauce this time. I do think that so I mean here we go definitely excuse me I'm eating so fast it's definitely nice and sauced um, I mean it's good I mean it's it's very like tons of flavor I think they did put more uh, of the Nashville heat and again I always say like in the restaurant business it's pretty big too. Look at all the sauce though in the box. Got some pickles in there. It's it's really, I don't know, a traditional Nashville hot. I'm sure the people in Tennessee probably would say maybe it's not the best way, but 
you know, I love the Nashville hot. It's got some good, it's got a good heat, but not too hot to where I can't enjoy the food. It's right, just right for me. You know, yeah, again, I know if you read some of the reviews, you might be scared, but so far the sandwich I've had um, is, is very flavorful. I like that. And then uh, the fries were great too. So anyway, this is my redo, my recheck in on, on the sandwich here and I am pleased with it. So I would recommend to try them out over here at Colby's Southern Kiss Chickens. All right, so I couldn't resist. I was still hungry. And of course I skip breakfast a lot of the time, so I saved my appetite. So I had to do something else and guess what it is? It's like a, it's like a funnel cake. It's like a fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So, oh my gosh. Like this, this looks interesting. Looks good. Wow, I think I see the peanut butter right there. Oozing out. Okay, let's do it. It's hot. I'm gonna burn myself. Just so you can put it in perspective with my big head. Alright. peanut butter and jelly just melts inside when it's deep fried. Wow. Look at that. Wow. If you even remotely like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich just a little bit, you'll love this. I mean, it's like, it's like a dessert. I mean, I guess it's supposed to be a dessert, but like I always, peanut butter and jelly is like a classic for me, like go-to lunch, quick thing to do. And this one's like a perfect dessert, like that funnel cake dessert, but wow. I mean, you see it oozing. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's really nice and crispy on the edges and the outer rim, but man, it's like nice and moist and hot on the inside, I guess the way it should be. All right, so we're all finished up. Now I got my overall synopsis here of Colby's Southern Kiss Chicken. So overall on the Action Adam scale, one out of 10, I'm gonna give them about a 8.5, okay? So really good meal, I enjoyed it. Uh, here was the thing I really enjoyed about them. The sandwich was, it was crispy, it was tasty. It was just tender enough, just right. The only thing I would maybe have differently would be have more of that Nashville hot sauce covering the actual breast a little bit more. Uh, it didn't seem to fully get it, so I was getting bites that had that nice, good, spicy taste, but then bites that didn't, it was just the crispy chicken. So maybe that, a uh, little more coverage. And the crinkly fries, I would say those were good too. Those were really good. Seasoned just right. Maybe a little more salt you can sprinkle on them, but they, they were really fluffy inside and crispy outside, just the way you want them. And of course I had the soda and then that peanut butter and jelly funnel cake dessert, that was really good. That thing, like, it just melts in your mouth. Like the crispiness on the outside, it's, it's a perfect little dessert. If you like peanut butter and jelly, or maybe you do it as a meal, like if you just want to get that as your entree, I don't know, but it was works for me as a dessert. I, I was thinking, man, if I had some milk or something to go along with that, that would have been awesome, but it was, it was great. So yeah, overall I would give it that. Now, the only thing I would say too is price wise, that's kind of why I didn't rate a little bit higher on my scale. I think it was a little bit pricey. You're looking at just under $15 for the combo I got, which was the Nashville hot sandwich with the fries and the soda, a uh, medium size. So that's the smaller size. So I think price wise, maybe a little bit high because I know you can go to other places, probably get eight, nine bucks with the combo, I think if I'm correct on that. But so, and I didn't see the prices online when I was looking at Colby, so I didn't notice that. So I was like, well, let's go to the restaurant and find out. So yeah, I think maybe a little bit high, but other than that, I mean, nice, comfortable environment, good little country music playing. They do have the outdoor patio. You can see that too on a nice day. I was inside obviously, but it was nice and comfortable inside. So overall good experience. I'm glad we got this place to open. It had been kind of, kind of like, it seemed like it was in limbo for a while, not opening and they were taking time. Maybe they weren't getting all the, the hiring done that they needed. So it looks like they got that. But as with anything, a new restaurant, it takes time for them to get acclimated. I know it's, there was a little confusion trying to kind of go where you needed to line up to place your order and things like that. Those are kinks I think they're gonna iron out as the restaurant goes along here. But I'm happy to see them open. 
uh, get another chicken option. So give them a shot sometime if you want to try that Nashville hot chicken sandwich. They have other things too, some other cool items that I didn't get to try. They got all your ten chicken tenders. I think like it's some kind of Oreo dessert too that's deep fried. So a lot of different things to try. Check them out. And I hope you enjoyed this video today and reach out if there's ever anything that I can do for you. Stay amazing.